Good afternoon and welcome back to Mama Sue's Kitchen. I told you yesterday that our daughter's birthday is today and she had suggested a supper with vegetables and cornbread, but instead of a cake, she wanted fried apple pies. So I'm beginning to make the fried apple pies and I wanted to tell you that you can make dough and you would make it like you would do dumpling dough with um, plain flour, all-purpose flour, not self-rising. But I'll tell you, using canned biscuits when you're in a hurry works just as well for me. What I do is I take these biscuits. I've got me some wax paper so I won't make such a mess. But I just roll them about that way. I got this little uh, rolling pin at the thrift store the other day. It's the first time I've used it. But anyway, that's about the size I want them. Now, I bought some dried apples at the grocery store, and I cooked them down. I added some sugar and water and just cooked them down to where they are real soft. Then I'm just going to take some plain water and just right around the edges, go around and wet just this side because when you fold it over, it kind of glues that together. And then I take a fork and I just go around the edges to seal it. And that's what my mama did. So that's why I'm doing it. Now I've got my oil. Yep, it's ready. Got my oil in my skillet. I'm going to just drop this in there carefully. And there's no certain time. You just have to watch it. And when it starts browning, you just turn it over and brown the other side. And some people put a glaze on theirs. Some people put uh, powdered sugar. But I don't put either one. We just have regular fried pies. So you can tell that it's getting brown. I've got it up just a little bit too high. Didn't watch it carefully enough, but see that's, that is all you do to have you for a fried pie. I have 10 biscuits right here and we're gonna make 10 fried pies and really enjoy them. Now, I'm, gonna, I'm not going to have you watch every one that I make, but I just wanted you to see how easy. Then you're just going to put it up there, and you're going to let it drain. And if you wanted to glaze it at that time, you could put some glaze, some powdered sugar, and a little milk. Just glaze it over there, or you could sprinkle powdered sugar, but we just eat it this way. I told you um, that we're having vegetables tonight. Let me tell you what she requested. She said, I want purple hull peas, fried okra, corn, stewed tomatoes, and cornbread. And that's what we're going to have tonight. You know, 44 years ago, our first daughter, Amy, was born. And she's such a joy. She is a school teacher. She's the one that encouraged me to start this video, and um, I, I really thank her for that. Some of you have been asking if, if I have a cookbook. I don't, but it's coming real soon, and I will let you all know when it's ready, and um, I thank you so much for the encouraging words that you give me, and uh, I just want you to know that you can be a light anywhere you go. You be salt and light in this world. Keep praying for these people who have COVID 
and and believe because God can do anything. Y'all have a great day, and I'll see you later. Mm -mm.